Hi, my name is Monica, and if you don't know, I moved. I own a small business called Monica's DIYs, and up until five months ago, I was operating out of my childhood bedroom. I have a whole video on that, you can go check that out. I made it work, but it was time to upgrade to my own apartment. I now have a two bedroom, I live with my boyfriend, and one of the rooms is now my crafting room. It's literally amazing that I have this entire space dedicated to my business now and I'm very grateful for it. I did move in five months ago so it's been some time but I really wanted to spend the time to figure out how I wanted to structure the entire room. So now it's January, I moved out in August I believe and I'm finally coming to you with a moving out slash moving in video. First let me show you a little bit into my packing process and how everything went down. So I'm moving to a new apartment. This is the current state of my room. It's um, a mess, but yeah, we're gonna have to fit this all in boxes. So I started filling up some boxes with stuff that I don't really need day to day and stuff that I won't need for the next two weeks until I move. So I have these boxes filled. I still have everything in my closet that I need to pack up and all of this other stuff. So I have to figure out how to pack this all up in the most efficient way possible. So packing was somewhat chaotic for me because not only did I have all of my personal items that I needed to pack up, go through, organize, get rid of things, buy new things, etc. I also had an entire collection of stuff for my small business. So I had candle jars, I had clothes, I had materials like fabric and sewing things, my sewing machines, my Cricut, um, and all the things that go along with that. So I had double the amount of stuff that I wanted to sort through before packing. So it was kind of stressful, a little bit, <laughs> but I kind of got through it. I had a lot of clothes that I wanted to thrift flip. As you know, I love thrifting, but I also love taking items at the thrift store that are a little less than perfect and upcycling them or fixing them to make them work better. And I had a whole stack of thrift flips that I wanted to do that I didn't get around to before moving so I decided to keep all of those things and just bring them with me. Okay things like my graduation regalia I don't know what to do with because I feel like it's important I might want to see this one day like for what though you know yeah I'm gonna keep it. See and this is my elementary school t-shirt. items is kind of difficult. This is the room where I came up with the idea for Monica's DIYs and where I made my first scrunchie which is the first item that I sold, where I made my first fashion collection which was last year and I had to take down my little mood board for that and it was all very emotional but I would have a much better working space once I moved into my own apartment. It's a new day because I got stressed cleaning out my clothes. Basically I packed majority of my clothes into the bins under my bed that you saw and also these bags right here it's like overnight bags i'm slowly going through all of that and putting what i don't want into these garbage bags and i'm selling a lot of the clothes that are in the garbage bags so i've been posting a few things at a time throughout the past couple days on my instagram and the stuff that's kind of worn out i'll just donate i've also been giving a lot to my sisters so i'm slowly downsizing into just manageable piles of stuff that I want, that I fully want. Now I'm going to deal with my fabric. So I have this pile of fabric that used to be literally up to here. I put half of this stuff into one box and I'm going to put the rest into this other box. Hopefully it all fits. So I have that whole mess to get rid of, all of which I want because this is all just good fabric that I haven't done any projects with yet. 
I also have fabric up there, but I think I'm going to keep everything in those bins and transport it just like that. I have all of this stuff, which is a lot of shipping material and Cricut supplies. And this shipping station, which I also need to pack up. But I'm still selling things on my shop right now, both on Etsy and Shopify. And I want to sell some of these clothes and decor items. So I don't want to pack up all my shipping stuff yet. But it's happening. I think I am going to move out in a week and a half now. It's a struggle. I last updated but it's the day before I leave. I kind of have everything separated into all my personal stuff and all my small business stuff. It should be pretty easy to unpack I hope. I still have kind of a lot to do. So I have all of my plants. I also have my shipping station that I need to dissemble and my sewing machine. I also have all of that. It really looks like I didn't do much but I swear I did. Like that, that bookshelf in the back. I used to have a bunch of stuff in it and now everything's packed up. That's entirely empty. Most of my clothes are gone except for the nicer stuff. I'm just going to cover with garbage bags and carry it as it is. This is stuff I might give to my sister. I have boxes packed up here and all of these bags have clothes in them, whether it be their flips or my personal clothes. And then underneath is looking okay too. Yeah, it looks messy, but I'm going to sort that out today. Now this takes us to the night before I moved. I was so stressed. There was so much to do. I didn't prepare properly. I felt like I was packing every single day and getting rid of things every day and organizing every day, but for some reason that last night my room looked like there was still so much stuff in it and there was no more time left. The next morning my boyfriend came with a U-Haul and we loaded it up and I got no footage of that. I was so focused on making sure that everything was going right and that I wasn't forgetting anything and I mean my parents live literally 45 minutes away so it was fine if I forgot something but I just wanted everything to go as smooth as possible and then I forgot to, to film everything because of that. So these are literally the only clips that I have of me moving from my bedroom to this new space. so good. I'm in Hoboken. Just moved all our stuff in. Oh, I'm so tired. We have a lot of boxes that we still need to unpack and we'll probably be unpacking for quite some time. Right now it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty excited. I have my little crafting room section that I'm really excited for and I just got a desk for so I'm waiting on that to come in before I actually set anything up and I will take you through my whole design process of that room because I really want to make it as functional as my other room was. I'm just lying because moving's hard. week was overwhelming. 
we basically just arranged all the boxes so that all the boxes that were meant for the kitchen were in the kitchen and all the boxes meant for my crafting room were like it somewhere in my crafting room. So the crafting room was piled high with boxes basically and the first step was to go through all of them and unpack them. It's tough because I didn't have things like a clothing rack or my desks or shelves or like cabinets and stuff like that that were meant to store little items. So I was kind of just unpacking boxes but then leaving everything that was in the boxes on a pile on the floor until these bigger pieces of furniture arrived. I generally had a vision of what I wanted this space to look like. There's this big cabinet that opens with two large doors and there are shelves on the inside so it was more of a hidden storage space. I thought that would be perfect as a fabric closet. So I piled in all of my fabric onto these shelves in not the most organized way but I really just wanted to get the boxes out of the room so the easiest way was to just put everything generally in the place that it's meant to go. My plan is to literally just stuff everything in these little cabinets so that I have space to set up my desk right around here where all the stuff is. that I ordered started coming in which was amazing so this first thing that I got was a long desk that I wanted to use for all my sewing needs back in my old room I had a teeny tiny desk it's like a floating desk that my dad built and the reason it's small is because at the time I just needed a laptop to sit on it for me to do work for school things have changed and I now require actual machinery on my desk so I have a sewing machine, a serger, a Cricut. I need space to cut fabric and I need storage for a lot of little knickknacks that have to go along with all of those machines. update on my workspace. It looks like this right now. A lot less boxes and I put things generally in the area that I think I want them in. I got another desk and one like rolling tiered cart that I will probably put my printer on and then have storage for some of my sewing machine accessories. Behind me I have my pegboard that I got from Lowe's that I need to set up. It's gonna go on that wall so I'll find time to do that soon too. Otherwise, everything's pretty much placed. Oh, I also got a clothing rack that will go in this little nook where I'm going to present all the items that are in the upcoming collection or thrift flips that I'm working on just so that there's a nice area to take pictures of the clothes because in my old room, I kind of just hung it up on this little command strip that I had and I just wanted a more dedicated place to take pictures of upcoming items. Maybe right under the pegboard I'm going to have my shipping station with another little table there. It's coming along. I 
All right, it's been about a week or two weeks. I've been losing track of time. This is taking forever. I have everything that I need for my workspace. I kind of like sewing on this big desk because there's a lot of space. I have these jars underneath that I bought separately. It rolls so I can always adjust where I put it, but I think it's nice under there. Then I have this table that was originally for a shipping table purpose, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I don't know if I want to put it against this wall or this wall. And then this guy, I'm experimenting with putting my printer on it, which I kind of like. And then maybe against this wall, because I have my clothing rack there. So I think that will work. And my pegboard is going up on that wall. So I have to figure out what table looks best underneath the pegboard. I think I keep repeating this, but this is my first crafting space. I thought I would be like 40 or 50 or some older age when this experience would finally happen. So I'm trying to go all out. I had this vision of a pegboard, like a ginormous pegboard that held all of my sewing stuff. Like it would display all my thread and all my scissors. So I went and did it. I went to Lowe's and I picked up a, I think it's a four foot by four foot pegboard. I picked up the white one. I love it. Me and my boyfriend put it up. It was a struggle. It's okay. It's up now. I kind of organized it and reorganized it a bunch of times until it became most functional and most aesthetic. Okay, here's the deal. I did a lot of stuff. I haven't been filming because I got kind of overwhelmed with the last few pieces of what I wanted to do in this room. So I'm just going to review what I've done. I got this clothes rack for this little nook right here. It's going to have all of the the clothes that I'm working on as well as their flips and their finds that I'm working on so that's what I have here right now. All of my packaging boxes are actually underneath this because I figured that'd be a nice way to use up some extra space. And then in the bins I have a lot of the different crafting materials that I need. All my fabric's still in there and I still need to organize it. I put some spare boxes up at the top. Okay, now here's where I did a lot. Last time I was deciding where to put both these tables and I think this is the best configuration of this little table slash storage unit that has different items related to shipping. So I have, this is actually my heat press and my Cricut's right there. So I thought it'd be nice to have the heat press there. Both my printers are there, my most used vinyl. I also put up this guy that has my paper that I mostly use for my printer. This thing may be my pride and joy. It was kind of a hassle to put up, but we worked it out. I put all of my different threads and all my different sewing items on here. I have these little things from the container store that have my safety pins and extra bobbins, cricket mats. Most of the things I would need on the daily are just here so I can like grab it real quick. That was the point of getting this pegboard. I'm more than ecstatic to have the pegboard, so. This is my shipping station. It's kind of messy right now. Still need to sort it out, but I have have envelopes in here that need bins. Then in here, I put my markers and other writing utensils. This is also messy, so we'll need to clean that up. I got this stand for my extra vinyl, and these crates are full of miscellaneous things. I have shipping stuff in here elastic and zippers. This table stayed where it is. I moved it over to the right a little bit. I figured it would be good because you walk in, you kind of see that as the first thing. So like when you walk in, oh, I'll set up my mannequin and you look over and then you have my sewing machines there. So I thought that was kind of nice. I have these, which you saw, and I was thinking about hanging these up on the wall, but I thought it's not worth it. And it's fine to just be at the wall here on this table. So I'll have to clear out some stuff in these little storage units and then I put some plants up there so yeah I got it done I still have a few more things to do like tidying up all the little bits of clutter that I have lying around I'm thinking of putting more decor in so that's what I'll be doing next oh I'm also thinking of putting a rug in here I kind of like that I'm able to like wiggle around in this rolly chair but I think a rug would just make everything look better so I'm thinking about that I think that corner looks kind of messy but I'm still figuring it out. So last steps are decor and clutter. Then I should be done. So I was wrong. There are a few other things I need to take care of apart from all the decor and clutter that I wanted to resolve. 
As I kept using my workspace, I realized that a lot of things weren't as functional as I thought they'd be. For example, having all those crates and all my vinyl up in this corner made everything feel very cramped and that was the opposite vibe I wanted in this room. I took those down and actually stuffed them in my fabric closet and at this point my fabric closet is becoming half fabric, half like miscellaneous storage type things which is totally fine. I would rather have it hidden away than making me feel really like claustrophobic in my own space. I also got a whole bunch of candles, um, candle jars, candle holders that um, I started using with my shop and I thought the perfect place to display those and to store them was above that clothing rack on those shelves so I took those bins down that I had up there previously and put up all of my half pre-made half empty candles and then when I settled all of the functional issues that I had with this room it was time to actually decorate. the end of my moving in process and my getting my crafting space together process so here's the final result i am obsessed with this room i think it's perfect in every way there are a few things i would like to make better but for now it's perfect it's so functional everything has its place i feel like i can breathe in here i love that i had space to add in plants um, multiple plants and i still have a lot of walking space it's easy to keep clean i did add in this curtain surprisingly there's no door it's like kind of interesting but I don't mind. I just added this curtain and a curtain rod. Perfect. Everything about it. Put up these bulletin boards that have all my inspo for upcoming collections. Everything about it is so great. I did end up wanting to make the space a little bit more minimal so I took down the colored thread that I had on the pegboard and I put it into these drawers that I have on the table that's under the pegboard. Other thing that I think I didn't mention is that I got these crates from Hay that hold all of my candle making and earring making supplies. I thought they were really cute. I think they blend in well. They're kind of pastels, so they're not too bright. And I'm just obsessed with how it all came out. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you want me to do a more detailed room tour, I would absolutely love to do that. So I may do that in the future. Uh, just let me know. I'll link everything that I can find in the description from my furniture to my organizing supplies and all that. I'll link that all below in case you want to go check it out yourself. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Again, I'm very grateful that this is my life and that I'm able to make this move and I'm self-sufficient enough in my nine to five job and in my small business life to be able to do anything of this sort. So thank you for watching and supporting me and I will see you in the next one.